So I have a lot of books on my physical TBR, as we've seen. I'm trying to slowly get through them, but I'm taking you guys along with me. I'm such a mood reader, so I started a little mini series a few weeks ago, just mood reading and getting through my physical TBR. This little series is so fun because I love mood reading and seeing how much I read throughout the week, which in this video, I calculated throughout the days how many pages I read. So enjoy this vlog and maybe read along with me. Okay guys, let's start this mood reading vlog. I literally have no books planned out to read right now. I just have my TBR for my TBR video I made this month and obviously the rest of my TBR, but I really wanna get through some books that are from that video Video and ones I like really want to read and get off my shelf. So I have a few in mind, but I just recently read two fantasies and actually I think I've most recently read fantasies and mystery YA like the natural series. So I think I want a romance right now and I have two that are on my radar. So, but do I want to read another fantasy? I'm like low key in a fantasy mood. I'll show you my options that are like on my radar and then we'll pick and then we'll start reading. Imagine that. So I'm really trying not to start more series because I'm in the middle of you have no idea how many. So many. I think I want to make a video trying to finish some of them. Eventually we'll get there. But these are the ones that I have right now. So we have The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. It's a YA romance. I think this is like the one I'm leaning towards just because I want to get a romance out of the way. And this has been on my TBR shelf for... I can't even explain how long. And then I have Collided by Lauren Asher. This is part of the Dirty Air series, and I really want to get through this series, like, so bad. But I've heard, like, not great things about this one, but I definitely want to get it off my TBR. So maybe in this video, eventually we'll read it, but... Yeah, maybe not right now, actually. And then I have One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. This one, I saw a TikTok a while ago, and I just, like, heard great things. I haven't seen it around too much, but I really do want to read it. This is a duology, I believe, but right now I'm between these two. We're definitely going to read these two in this video. It's just, what do I want to read right now? I'm, like, low-key in a fantasy mood, and I just finished The Prison Healer. And I kind of also want to read the second one in this video, because, like, the ending of the first one was crazy. So, I don't know. I'm going to choose one of these. We're going to read probably everything I just showed you in this video. I don't know how many we'll get through. Maybe like three or four in this video. I'm gonna choose one of these, we'll start one, and we'll get right into the mood reading. How fun. I decided to start The Gilded Cage by Lynette Noni. This is the second one, like I said, to The Prison Healer. I don't know, I feel like that one ended off really crazy and I wanna continue the story because I'm in the world and the mindset of being in that world. So I wanna see how it like continues. So I did start this one. I'm about 83 pages in, I'm on chapter eight. And I think I'm gonna read a bunch of this today, see how far I get. And I think I'm also gonna start Collided by Lauren Asher at the same time. I feel like that's like an easy romance to kind of read while reading this. Like it doesn't really take much to read those books or just like a romance like that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna continue reading this during the day and then switch off between Collided sometimes, but those are the two books that I'm reading. But I did not start Collided yet. Eventually today I'm going to, but I wanna see how far in this I can get. Because this one, I don't know, I felt the same way with the first one. The pacing is really slow, but I'm interested to see what happens because she got me in the first one. I feel like there's definitely something interesting that happens in this one, especially probably the end because it goes into the third book and the way the first one ended, like I keep saying, was just crazy. So if you don't know what the Prison Healer series is about, the first one is basically about Kiva and she has been in Zalandov, which is like this huge high security prison like basically once you get in you can't really get out she's been there for 10 years since she was younger she's now like 17 and she's the prison healer so like people come to her obviously to be healed and get better and she's been working there for a while her dad used to be the healer there so she's been there for a while and then the rebel queen comes in and she's like dying and she's sentenced to these trials that she has to do and if she wins the trials she's like free or something like that and if she doesn't then she she dies through the trials so since she's sick and kiva's trying to heal her kiva does the trials for her or like says she wants to do the trials for her in her place so that's basically the storyline of the first one it's very interesting just the pacing was really slow for me but the ending was just absolutely insane so i was very intrigued to start this one this one obviously has a whole different storyline that i don't really want to say because it'll give away a lot of what happened in the first one and how the first one ends i'm going to continue reading this i probably won't give too many updates because again it would give too much away and too many spoilers about what's happening in this one but i think i'm going to enjoy this storyline though better than the first one that's my prediction the first one i gave four stars so we'll see how this one goes i'm gonna go read some more today and then i will update you guys when i start collecting or sometime later we'll see how far I get and 
what happens. I haven't been able to read too much today, only a little bit this morning and a little bit just now. I've had a lot of work to do, so I'm now ready to read. I am also calculating the pages that I'm reading every day to tell you guys, because it's like mood reading, how I realistically read. So yesterday I only read 40 pages. I didn't read all day. And then just before bed, I decided to start this book, read 40 pages. And I didn't read the two days before that. Like I didn't have any books. I was just working. So haven't read for a while, or I feel like I haven't like gone into a book and like been in a book. You know what I mean? For a while. I've been in reality and I want to step out of it. So I'm going to see how far I can get in this today and I will give you guys some updates. I woke up pretty early today and started reading, but I have the pages that I read yesterday. Yesterday I read from page 40 to 128 of The Gilded Cage, so that's about 88 pages. And then I literally just read 12 pages of Collided last night. Before I fell asleep, I started it and it put me like right to bed because it was like trying to get into a story. You're not into it. I was a little bit not bored, but like I didn't know what was going on. It literally put me right to bed. So I read exactly 100 pages yesterday, so I think that's good. I had a lot of work that I was doing, so I got in some reading, which was nice. But this morning I woke up really early and just started immediately reading because I have some work stuff to do but like not too much so I really want to get some reading done and I got to chapter 21 of this book page 246 so far I really want to finish this today it's about 400 ish pages I think I have a little under 200 pages to go I think I'm too scared to kind of look at how many pages are in this because I don't want to spoil anything because again I think the end of this is crazy just like the first one so I don't think I'm going to go into the third one right after I think I need a break of her writing because again I feel the same way I did as the first one a lot of like telling and explaining and not showing like I wish there was more dialogue when she's like explaining what they're doing and stuff but it's still good this one I like better because there's more characters that are involved in this one and there's one character that was introduced in this story the second book that I'm just like obsessed with my favorite character so far I hope nothing bad happens to them that would not be fun but yeah so far so good it's still like nothing too crazy but you learn a lot more a lot more of the politics and a lot more i feel like going on between the characters again i can't really say too much but i like this one a little bit better than the first again because you know more after finishing the first so like you're kind of into it obviously so again i started collided last night on my kindle i have the book but i wanted to read it on kindle because it's kindle unlimited and again i got 12 pages in honestly it was right before i fell asleep like i said so i don't remember what i read i know it's about sophie and Liam? Is that even his name? I don't know. I have to go back into this. They were two characters from the first book, Throttled. Her this is not everyone's favorite from the series. I think it's actually people's like least favorite, but I still want to get through the series because I have it and it's on my TBR. So I'm going to keep reading this on the side of whatever books I pick up because I feel like this is just like a no brain power romance book that I could just kind of get through when I want to. So literally just 12 pages in. I don't even remember what I read, but I think after The Gilded Cage, I'm going to pick up another fantasy I think I'm kind of in the mood now because it's like giving fall weather. It is so gloomy today. I got my fall drink from Starbucks because I came out today and I'm having a fall feeling, fall vibe, which is getting me really excited. I love fall reading. So I'm going to keep reading and we'll see how far I get. I definitely want to finish The Gilded Cage today and then start another book while reading Throttled. So not Throttled, Collided, but we'll see. I don't know, but that's my update. Something crazy just happened and I was so nervous. I literally couldn't like read the next chapter. I literally couldn't continue. I was like really nervous, but things are okay. Things are looking up. I'm nervous for how this is gonna end though because I just heard the ending is like crazy ish i don't know like it ends like cliffhanger plot to us you have to go into the next one basically you don't have to but like you'll want to go into the next one and i'm so nervous like i really don't want to finish this i can't have anything go wrong and i have like theories in my head of what's gonna happen and i feel like it's gonna be bad i have a bad feeling Oh my god. The ending 
went crazy again. The first book I read in my mom choosing my reads, if you want to see how I felt about that one, but I gave the first one four stars. I think I'm also just going to give this one four stars as well because again, the beginning, it's just hard for me to get through. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the writing style it feels a little bit dragged out or just a little too descriptive at times. So I get a little bit bored, but it's all well worth it by the end of it. So it's not bad that that happens. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed the story a lot more than the first, but I don't think it's like a higher rating than the first. But the end of this one, I'm so excited to see how things pan out in the third one. I'm not going to go right into that one. I think I need a little bit of a break before I go into that one. But yeah, this one was just crazy at like the last like maybe even like 200 pages because when the first little not plot twist but something happened that I gave my reaction to I was just completely shook and now the way that this ended I'm just like I expected one part of it to happen like it was kind of given but everything else like the plot twists that were revealed it just it did not I did not think that was gonna happen so highly recommend the series if you're interested in I don't know oh my god the romance that was like going on but like I can't say anything but yeah four stars for this one i ended up reading obviously the rest of it and there are 429 pages so let's add that to my my list what did i say 429 so I read 301 pages so far of this one today. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break, but I think later tonight we're going to start another book. I think I'm going to start My Dark Window later tonight by Rachel Gillig. This one, I don't really know exactly what it's about, but I've heard people that are obsessed with Fourth Wing say that this one is like even higher of a rating for them and they love this one like even more. I know I haven't read Fourth Wing yet, but I obviously know it's a well-loved book. So I'm excited to get into this one. I'm kind of in a fantasy mood. So I think this one will start tonight together. I think it's a duology. Let me look. I'm like literally in the middle of like a hundred different series right now yeah so there's two of these the first one has 23,000 ratings and the second one only has 134 i don't have the second one so i'm not going to get in it till i finish this probably but again i'm in the middle of so many series right now so many books that are parts of like series or duologies and i think i'm gonna spend or at least try to spend the rest second half of this year not the second half we're already further in the year but like the rest of this year trying to slowly get through some series so we're gonna start another one i don't know i probably shouldn't but i really want to read this i've heard great things so we'll start this later tonight and i'll update you guys on how much i read how much i get through but i had a great time just binging this book today it was a really really great time so i'll come back later and we'll see we'll see how much i read Okay guys, good morning. It is the next morning and I started this book last night, One Dark Window by Rachel Gillick. I only got about 51 pages in. I got to chapter 5. It's reading honestly like kind of fast. Like I'm, I got into the story pretty quickly. It was a little, not confusing to start out, but like trying to like connect what was going on, but like they got right into it. It kind of didn't like go too slow. What is that? What am I trying to say? And I got right into the story and it took like a few seconds for me to like pick up on what was going on, but like I understand it now. And I think this is going to be kind of like a, not a darker fantasy but it has like almost like a like darker undertones to it because it's basically about this girl who got sick when she was younger and now she has like something happened to her and she has like this nightmares in her brain like she's something magical happened and now he's like inside of her brain and and they can like speak with one another and it's like one of those things and he kind of like protects her that's what's going on with her but then in like the world that she lives in there's this whole thing where there's like 12 playing cards that are magical they're very important to the world in order to stop the mist that is like taking over like the forest and eventually take over the whole place that they're living and that mist kind of has like a dark magic to it so in order to stop that mist from whatever you have to collect all 12 cards but there's i don't think they have all 12 of them i think they need one more so she goes like on a quest of eventually i think to figure out where the card is figure out how to stop it but she goes on this quest with it says the king's nephew who was captain of the most dangerous men in blunder i did meet the nephew and they didn't really have too much of a conversation i think they were just in one scene before i fell asleep or before i stopped reading so i'm excited to get more into this and get back into this i don't think i've really read a fantasy that gives off these vibes other than i would say it's closer to like belladonna it's giving those vibes it's kind of giving those like dark almost like gothic vibes does that make sense? I don't know, but I like the writing of this one a lot, so. I did not end up reading any of Collided. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that book. I'll update you guys if I ever read more of it, obviously, but let me calculate how much I ended up reading yesterday because I know I read about 301 pages of The Gilded Cage and then I read 51 pages of this. So I read about 352 pages yesterday, which honestly I feel like could accumulate to one whole book, which is crazy because sometimes I'll have a day where I don't read anything or only read like 20 pages and then I'll have a day where I like binge a book. So that was a good reading day yesterday. I'm gonna read a bunch today. I don't 
don't have too much work to do today which is actually really good i got a lot done yesterday which i'm very happy about so it's really gloomy it's raining outside it's giving fall weather i feel like it's the perfect day to continue reading this book i'm really excited about it so i will give you guys some updates when i get further in Good morning. It's now Saturday. I don't know if I've told you that. Oh, I was on TikTok. I don't know if I told you guys the day of the week, but I started this on Tuesday. So we're going to go from Tuesday to Tuesday. It is now Saturday. So I didn't really update anything yesterday. I did read for a good amount during the day and then like a little bit at night. I took a break. I read up to page 218 of this book and I started on page 51. So that's about 167 pages. And I think that's pretty good because I got, I think it's a little over halfway of this book. I'm pretty sure. And I didn't give any updates because I didn't really have anything to say about this book. I kind of gave you guys the general basis of the story from what I caught on to. But I feel like that's still like what's going on. They're still trying to figure out how to get rid of the mist that's going on. We did find out a few other things about like some of the characters that are involved. And there's a lot of other characters that are now like more of not main characters, but they're more involved in the storyline. And I love that. I don't know. There's something about like fantasy characters, like the side characters that become such like prevalent characters in storyline that I really like. But I'm also really enjoying the main guy character. His name is Raven. I don't know what it is about him, but I'm really enjoying him. I like the way he was written. I like his like the things he says and does. There's really not much to up to end you guys on though, because I feel like everything that's happening is just like getting towards their goal. I feel like I have a little bit of like a theory of how this is going to end because there's like some things they have to do to end the miss and I'm like, okay, if I'm thinking of how fantasies usually go, I think this is how it's going to end. So I don't know. We'll see. I definitely want to finish this one today. I'm going to read for a bit and then I will update you guys when I'm done. I'm really excited. I don't know how I'm feeling about a rating on this. I don't really have any thoughts for a rating really right now. I'm enjoying the story. I don't know if I'm loving the story. I'm not like not liking it. I don't know. It's very interesting, but it's not like mid. Like it's not like a three star. Like I wouldn't like really recommend this. I am enjoying it. I just don't know how I feel, which is very interesting. I don't know. I feel like usually I have like a sense of what I'll rate books, but I don't know. I'm going to read more today. I will update you guys. We'll see how this ends. I'm so excited to see how this ends. And then we'll start our next book. window finally i feel like some parts of this was a little bit slow for me like i don't know not that it dragged on or anything i just feel like some parts that i think were supposed to be kind of exciting felt a little bit dragged out but that's not to take away from this book i loved the like gothic vibes and like the scenery of it being kind of more darker and like the undertones of all the darkness in like the setting and stuff and i like that the magic system revolved around these like cards that they have to get i did guess the one little plot twist that was like i feel like the major point of this and like what we were trying to guess at or at least one of the things we're trying to guess at i did figure that out somehow usually i'm really bad at figuring out plot twists in fantasy books they usually get me i liked the characters i liked the storyline i liked the setting i think this is a perfect book if you're looking for a fantasy for like the fall time i feel like it definitely gives like fall gloomy vibes if like that would have been perfect to read like peak fall time and i realized why the second book only has a few ratings that's because it's not out yet <laughs> i don't know why i just didn't put two and two together or look into that but i think it goes out in like october or something and i'm really excited because this does end on a cliffhanger of course I feel like all fantasies end on the cliffhanger. I need the second one. 
So I'm definitely gonna read the second one when it comes out because of the way this ended, obviously I'm gonna need it. Plus we get Raven's point of view in the second one. There's a little sneak peek into it. So I am excited for that. I think I'm gonna give it 4.25 stars, which I know is a little bit like specific, but I feel like a four seems too low because I enjoyed it a lot, but it's not like my favorite book ever, but it was really enjoyable. I've never read like a fantasy with these themes in it. So I've read about 174 pages today. I am gonna start another book. I don't know how much I'm gonna read today. I kind of want to take a little bit of a break and just like relax a bit, but I was looking at my TBR or not my TBR, the books that I read for this month of August so far, and I haven't read not one romance book. Can you imagine that? I haven't read a, a romance. I think it's just the videos I was filming. No romances kind of played into those. So I'm excited that I'm mood reading right now because I'm in the mood for a romance. I just need like a just chill palette cleanser. Maybe not chill, but like a palette cleanser romance that it's not fantasy. Doesn't have world building or a magic system. Just like a plain old romance. I think I'm going to start The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now I did read From Blood and Ash from this author, which is a fantasy series. I didn't love that. So I'm hoping I enjoy this one. I think this is a YA romance and I've heard great things. This has been on my shelf. If you've been watching my channel, for a while now. It's been on my shelf for a very long time. Like this is one of the books that's been on here for like over a year at this point. I bought this so long ago and I have not gotten to it, but I feel like I'm in the mood for something like this. If you've been waiting for me to read this, <laughs> Now it's happening. So again, I have not been in like a romance headspace all month. So I'm excited to read this. I feel like I feel like it'll go well. Our next read, I don't know when I'm gonna start it just yet, but I will update you guys obviously when I do. feel connected to the main character and I'm only on page 22 I'm like I already feel for her and I really feel connected to her already which is very interesting literally 22 pages in and I don't know if I'm really enjoying this because I haven't read a romance in a while so that could be why but also I just feel like I'm gonna love this I don't know I don't want to have my expectations too high or my hopes too high but I think I'm really gonna enjoy this because the way it started but I'm just stating now I have really high hopes for this book just for the way I'm feeling, the way it started. It's a YA, she's in high school, and she just came back to her senior year of high school to be in public school again. She was homeschooled for a while, and you kind of got a glimpse in the prologue of what happened to her when she was younger, and she's been through a lot. We don't know exactly what happened, or like what she's been through, but you get like a little bit of a glimpse of it, like a little bit of a scene, and there was someone back then that was really important to her, so now it's a few more years in the future, and she just, it's her first day back in public school, so she's feeling all of the anxiousness, nerves, because it's been a while, but I think I'm gonna like this one. Last night I ended up starting The Problem with Forever and I didn't get too far in. I actually fell asleep about 56 pages in. I got to the point in the story, it's very far in the beginning when they finally like notice each other again and see that it's him from her past and he notices her and it's like, oh, this is just Mallory and whatever. So I'm at the very beginnings of that. So I'm intrigued to see like what's gonna happen because this book is pretty long. It's about like 440 pages, 445 pages. And I'm just like, they already saw each other. So there's no like waiting to meet up with each other again. No guessing that if it's him or not. And I guess we're gonna get a lot of like her background and their background and like them growing up together and like what happened between them that's like what I think we're gonna get a lot of and then also I guess overcoming how she feels right now and like he definitely helps her through that I think that's what's gonna happen yeah I don't know how much I want to read today because I have a few things I have to do but it is Sunday and let's calculate how many pages I read yesterday because I did read like I said 56 pages of this I finished one dark window and I read about 174 of that and then 56 pages of this I read about 230 pages yesterday which I think that's pretty good today I don't know how much I'm gonna get through but we'll see it's sunday like i said so i don't have any plans right now but i do have to leave in a little bit so i'm gonna read until then i will say like i said last night i had high hopes for this book and then i did myself a disservice which i never usually do this but i went to goodreads started reading reviews started looking at ratings and that always just really either bums me out or like gets me more hype and i had high hopes for this last night just i think because i haven't read a romance all month and i'm really excited for one but yeah i was reading reviews and looking at ratings and it just kind of was like eh, am i gonna love this so that's why I usually like to go in blind like I don't want to know what anyone thinks because it really just like persuades me and just makes me think differently and I don't know why I'm like that I don't know I need to not look at reviews and I wasn't gonna look at them but the last night I was like you know what I want to know what people think about this because this book came out like a bit ago it's been out for a while so anyway I'm gonna keep reading today we'll see how far I can get I'll give you guys updates obviously and that's it that's my update good morning and happy Sunday got my pumpkin spice latte I am in a sweater I'm giving feeling fall vibes today it's gonna be 80 degrees out but I'm feeling fall vibes <laughs> It's about 
about 10 a.m. I didn't update anything yesterday because after I said that it felt like a fall day, I immediately ended up at the beach. And I just thought that was so funny. When I got to the beach and started taking a clip, I was like, wait, I literally just said it felt like fall and I wanted to stay in bed. And then I went to the beach, which I haven't been to the beach in so long, so it was so nice. But I went for a couple hours and it was really nice. But after that, I didn't read all day. So I only got to page 94 and I started the day on page 56. So I only read about 38 pages yesterday, which honestly I'm not mad about. It was a Sunday. I just, it's a mood reading vlog, you know, that's how much I wanted to read yesterday. That's how I felt with the reading. So yeah, I only read about 38 pages yesterday. I want to read a bunch today. I do have some work stuff to do, but other than that, I'm going to be reading. I will say as I'm reading this, I was excited to get into like a romance, but I feel like I don't really connect with like high school romances, like YA romances anymore. Like yeah, they're cutesy and stuff, but like I can't, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just my age or I don't know. They're just not, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. Like it's not bad. I am enjoying the story, but I haven't read a YA romance in a while. I think I just read so many fantasy books this month that I'm just like in such a fantasy mood. Like I want to pick up another romance fantasy right now. Like in this moment, I want to read a fantasy. And I don't know how long that's going to last, but we're going into the fall season, so I feel like it may last a bit, but I'm going to read a bit today. I will update you guys as it goes. Honestly, I have not gotten any further in, so I have not found out literally anything else or nothing else crazy has happened. So that's about it. I'm going to go read and I'll be back. laying here for about I don't know I didn't read a lot this morning I went to lunch and then I got back and started working and then I just sat here and kind of binged a bunch of this book I'm now on page 218 chapter 19 I think I'm about halfway I think this is a little over 400 pages it's about like 440 so it's pretty thick for a romance novel especially like a YA romance but this one's definitely deeper like she has a very traumatic childhood and we've gotten a lot of glimpses of that and she's had this childhood with Ryder the main guy character so you get glimpses of that and like their trauma bond that they have together because they grew up in this like terrible childhood but I like that we're getting a bunch of flashbacks of it because you can feel their connection to each other like seeing each other again and like him wanting to protect her and stuff and then you get like the flashbacks and you kind of like understand more of why they're like this connected to each other which I enjoy I'm actually like flying through it. it's definitely an easy read it's definitely like fast-paced read I'm just like trying to see like what's the issue gonna be and I feel like I know what's gonna happen and I feel like I always have to theorize and like figure out what's gonna happen during any book I read but yeah, I think I know like how it's gonna go down but I'm enjoying it a lot more than I think in the beginning I feel like getting more deeper into it and like knowing more about them and really understanding like especially her struggles and like she's now in like a public school she hasn't really been around people and she doesn't like have these social skills and like she's very to herself she's very anxious and like seeing her do all of these things and like overcome these things that she hasn't done in a while is really nice to like read about and like see her grow like a little bit like very slowly but like she's doing it I definitely want to see if I can just binge this book today I do have a little bit of work to finish up and I have to eat dinner and stuff but I definitely want to see if I can finish this I'm just gonna sit here and read more um I'm excited to finish this it's not that I want it to be over, but I want to see like where it goes and like between them two and like just her as her own person, like how it's going to end. I don't know what I'm going to read after this. I literally have no books lined up after this. So whatever I'm in the mood for. This is a mood reading vlog. So we're going to see. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it as much as I thought I would. I think I was thought I was going to be like obsessed in love with it and I'm not like too obsessed, but for what it is and what it's about and like, I think it's a lot deeper than most like YA romance type books because of like her past and what they've been through. That's all for me. I've been sitting in this chair for a hot minute. Okay, I'm going to go keep reading and we'll see how far I get. Okay guys, I am in the same outfit as last night. We're not going to talk about that, but I finally finished The Problem with Forever. It is now Tuesday, so it's been exactly a week since we started this. I ended up not finishing this last night. I got to page, I think it was like around 291 last night, and then I fell asleep, and I didn't end up finishing it, obviously. Today, I finished it like just now. I didn't read this morning, but then like throughout the afternoon, I read. And I just finished it, and it's around 441 pages. So that's about 147 pages that I read today, which honestly, it was pretty good. I did think I was going to finish it yesterday, but I think it was just like a little bit too long. So my little review on this before we get into all the pages I read and the amount I've read throughout the whole week. 
put together. I ended up giving this four stars. I did enjoy it for what it was. Again, I think I'm just like not in a romance mindset. I don't know. It's been a while and I just feel like YA romance just wasn't what I was in the mood for maybe. I mean, I was in the mood for a romance because I needed like a little bit of a cleanser between all of these fantasies, but like, I don't know. This one was though, it was pretty good. It was a lot heavier than I expected it to be. I know from the summary on the back and like getting right into it, the main two characters had a pretty troubling past and a very hard time like growing up where they did. I do like that the author kind of went through those different, not themes, but like the different struggles and like the long-term effects of what happens when you're younger and how it shapes you into who you are today and like growing up through that and like trying to become your own person. And I really like that the author like touched on those things. I liked the story. I liked the characters. I like her from the beginning, her character development between the both of them, both character developments from just seeing what they've been through and how the story started with like their personalities and like how they were. I definitely did enjoy that. And it was, it was a good story. I do think it was a little bit too long for what I wanted, but for like what they were going through, I understood why they needed a lot of time to like talk about it and stuff. But yeah, four stars on my favorite, favorite read, but it is a good read. I did enjoy it. And honestly, I'm really happy that it's now off of my TBR shelf because it's been on there for so, so, so long. So now let's calculate all the pages throughout like the whole week I've read. Let me add them all up. From Tuesday to Tuesday, I read 1,271 pages. Honestly, I don't really know how to compare that. I remember I did this in my last mood reading vlog and I forgot how many were in that one, but this one was around 1,200 pages. That's a lot of pages. At least in my head, it feels like that's a lot of pages. I think we read together three books, which is pretty good. I feel like mood reading is just so fun. I'm such a mood reader. Like right now I'm in the mood for like a mystery and I just, I don't know, I think it's so fun. And I love just being able to go to my shelf right now and pick out my next book. That's all for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed reading along with me this week and little mood reading, fun little reading vlogs. I had such great books. I think they were all four stars. One was a 4.25, but like majority four stars, which is very good. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you did and I will see you hopefully in the next one. Bye.